going to start with the left hand on this one. So I'm going to take my left hand and look for two E flats. Now you could find an E flat by looking for two black notes in a row, and the E flat is the rightmost note there. And I'm going to be playing two octaves of E flat at the same time, one with the pinky and one with the thumb. And the pinky is basically playing the second E flat from the bottom of the keyboard. Okay? And the thumb would then be the third E flat from the bottom of the keyboard. Okay, so we start with this E flat with both fingers five and one. And from there we move to an A flat with the same two fingers. Okay? Right? Fingers five and one. And then to the A flat with fingers five and one. Right, the thumb is finger one, the pinky is finger five, and the other numbers go in between those two. Okay, so again, two E flats to two A flats. Okay, so we do the two E flats, the two A flats, and from there we're going to move our pinky to the same E flat that our thumb was playing last time. And we're going to be playing a triad now. We're going to be playing the E flat, the A flat, and the C. So we're going to be playing the E flat with finger five, the A flat with finger three, and the C with finger one. Okay, so we have E flat, A flat, and then this triad consisting of E flat, A flat, and C. It's going to sound like this. We're going to hit that twice. Okay, so E flat, A flat, and then this triad twice. Okay. In case you're interested, the triad is an A flat major chord, but we're not going to have to worry about that for this lesson. Okay, so again, we have E flat, A flat, the chord twice. Okay, so we have E flat, A flat, chord, and then we're going to go to an A with both fingers five and one. And then up half a step from the A to the B flat. Again. And from here, we're going to go to a different chord so remember the first chord was E flat, A flat, C. This next chord is going to be E flat, G, C sharp. And we're going to play that one twice as well. Okay, and in case you're interested, that's an E flat seventh chord. Okay, so we have E flat, A flat, the first chord twice, A, B flat, the second chord twice. And then we're going to start over and do that whole thing one more time. So E flat, A flat, chord, chord, A, B flat, chord, chord. Again, E flat, A flat, first chord twice, A, B flat, second chord twice. And that's the whole part. Okay, now let's do the right hand. The right hand is going to start on an A flat with finger number two. This A flat is the fourth one up from the bottom of the keyboard. Remember that the A flat is right in the middle of the sequence of three black notes. Okay, so we're going to play that A flat with finger two, followed by two E flats with fingers one and five. One being the thumb and five being the pinky. So we have, okay, so we have A flat, the two E flats, followed by the A flat again, so, and then we're going to play a C with finger number three. So we have, and then we're going to play the two E flats again. Finger two, one and five, two, three, one and five again. 
Okay, so we have... And then we're going to use finger two and play a G. So we have... And then we're going to play the two E flats again. So we have... And then G, B flat, and the two E flats again. And that's the whole part. We're just going to play it twice. So we have... Okay, and I just want to point out that there's a rest before each time that we do that. So there's rest. Rest. Okay, the left hand will be playing something during those two rests. One more time. Rest. Rest. So let's put both hands together. The left hand starts by itself with the E flat, A flat. Okay, so we have E flat, A flat, and then the right hand is going to play the A flat. And then when the right hand plays the two E flats, the left hand plays that A flat chord at the same time. So we have, and then the right hand plays the A flat by itself, and then the C with the same chord in the left hand again. And then the right hand plays the two E flats by itself again. And then while the right hand is holding down those E flats, the left hand goes to the two A's. And then the right hand plays the G. So we have. And then the left hand plays the two B flats while the right hand plays the two E flats. And then the right hand plays that G. And when the right hand plays the B flat, the left hand plays that E flat seventh chord. And then the right hand plays these two E flats. And after the right hand plays the two E flats, the left hand plays that chord again. And that's it. And then that whole thing repeats one more time. Again. Okay, let's just play the whole thing again. And one more time. <laughs> 